this retired police dog kept barking at a tree. Its owner found there's something besides the wood. Make sure to like before watching this video. Subscribe with the notification on for more videos. When it sticks its nose to the ground, it involuntarily pricks up its ears. Smith has never seen it before. There must be something inside. Its big paws pressed on the soft soil, motionless like a statue. He thought he should check the tree that his dog was interested in. But he knew it was going to be a catastrophe. His pulse quickened as his palms got wet. If he hadn't seen it with his own eyes, he wouldn't have believed it. When the Smiths first saw Kyle, a white retired police dog, they fell in love with it instantly. It just retired as a service dog for eight years. It would lie flat and be pampered for the rest of its life. After they adopted Kyle, their favorite thing is to walk the dog every day. They often took it to the woodland near their house. Kyle loved to chase the squirrels at finds, even though he could never catch them. Something else caught its attention. They walked Kyle like they always do until they realize there's something wrong. It's weird and tense, sniffing around. Maybe it used to do it when it's a service dog. Anyway, there is something wrong. Kyle was temporarily adopted by two other families before the Smiths adopted it because it was not retired at the time and needed to fight crime. Kyle has all the police dog training and its forte is information gathering. It's a good detective. Although its nature is not aggressive, it sometimes acts aggressively for the officer it works with and its new owner. Training began when Kyle met its new partner, Officer John. It quickly learned to be more aggressive when the situation called for it. It protected its new partner with its life. A service dog usually went out on patrol with many officers, but Kyle didn't listen to anyone but Officer John. They made a solid team and developed a special bond, so they always worked together. Kyle was even adopted by John. When Kyle's career came to an end, John wanted to adopt it. However, he's still working and couldn't take good care of it. He thought Kyle deserved constant attention in a loving home, but he couldn't meet it. Therefore, he gave it to Mr. Smith. The Smiths get along well with Kyle. They exercise more than before. They feel relieved because they have a new guard and it will protect them. One day, they were walking in the woods as usual. Their house is in the countryside, surrounded by woodland. It's a great venue for Kyle. All the dogs like to chase all kinds of wild animals in the woods. But Kyle found something else. Today they walked as usual. Kyle jumped ahead of them and they walked this familiar road. Kyle insisted on exploring a different route with them. This family noticed their dog was acting weird. Kyle has never been out of the city for so long before. It enjoyed taking daily walks in the woods with its new family. But something is different today. They didn't expect it. Sometimes it was weird when Kyle was home. It did not want to eat and was not as energetic as usual. But it happily wagged its tail in the woods when it's walking. They knew it must have been like this when it was still in service. Its instincts came into play when it followed a lead that only it can find. The family tried to get it back on the trail, but it was really focused on the smell. It's ordinary for dogs to sniff the ground while on a walk. Kyle sometimes spots many kinds of wild animals on their walks. Once it even found someone's old clothes. Even if a hidden clue was very subtle, Kyle can find it. But this time the clues it gets seem to make it anxious. This family has never seen it before. Now that they're drawn, they must move on. The family thought Kyle was weird. Maybe there's something hiding in the tree. It may be a small animal. It may be laughing at the dog. They looked up and found some twisted branches. There are leaves of spring. Kyle found something they didn't see. 
Smith called Kyle again, but Kyle didn't return. Smith didn't know what he should do and then called John, Kyle's ex-partner. John explained that Kyle was trained to do so when it smelled an unusual or dangerous smell. He told Smith to check the tree carefully because it might be dangerous. Is this a drug? Smith wondered. No. It may have found something worse. As Smith approached the tree, he saw the loose bark. Kyle started barking loudly. Smith was encouraged. He worked up the courage, peeled the trunk and saw the hollow inside the tree. He peered inside and his eyes suddenly focused. He was scared. It's not drugs. Kyle was on high alert and awaited his orders. Without any hesitation, Smith pulled out his cell phone and called the person he should report for. He dialed John's phone number. In a trembling voice, he described exactly what Kyle found in the old tree. John was very disturbed. He hastily called forensic experts and got there. For John, the journey to Kyle's new home was harrowing. It took much longer than he thought. Two hours later, they're still driving. Since Kyle was adopted by the Smiths, John has been too busy with work to visit him. When they got there, he felt guilty for his partner. Kyle was very excited when he saw Kyle. It ran to John. They reunited again. But there's a serious task to deal with. John walked quickly to the tree and pulled the bark away. His heart beat fast. Kyle urged him to move faster with its barking. His eyes widened as he confirmed the heinous sight Smith had described to him. Kyle led them to a human skeleton hidden in a tree. The tree was too full so they had to carefully chop it down to assess the problem they were dealing with. Smith was amazed at how lively Kyle became as they worked. It seems to be restored to its working state. Smith knew Kyle loved John very much. When he watched Kyle, new clues were found. John was dazed when he found the skeleton in the hollow tree. He's going to notify his sheriff so they can get more help. He started dialing. Just when the sheriff was about to answer, someone stopped him. Forensic experts stopped him before he called. They are right. They took their tools and analyzed the skeleton, trying to know where it came from. They stopped John from calling because their discovery told them that they didn't need to investigate further. They have found it. This skeleton is as big as a person but it's fake. Someone put it in the tree for Halloween, but forgot to take it out. They laughed and became relieved. But they didn't understand why Kyle reminded them in this situation. Kyle was trained to distinguish between non-threatening and menacing odors. Smith was the first one to figure it out. He realized Kyle just wanted to see John. Its recent behavior suggested it's lonely and it misses its best friend and ex-partner. It knows John very much. They're not happy with its behavior. Maybe that's why it did that. Was this orchestrated? Kyle has been watching John since he arrived. John was looking at his ex-partner. Kyle was jumping up and down excitedly, licking his hands and nuzzling his leg. Then it dawned on him. Maybe it was never about the skeleton, John said. In the years they worked together, it had one quick and easy way to get his attention. Kyle knew there was no quicker way. All it has to do is sit and bark when it finds something, just like it's trained to do. John laughed when he figured it out. He bent down and scratched Kyle's head, staring into its brown eyes. It seemed that Kyle told John that it missed its partner terribly and that it must find a way to see him again. Kyle hasn't seen him since moving to its new home. But it remembered the days when they worked together as partners. John looked at Kyle and was touched by its unwavering loyalty and love. He decided to stay there a little longer so he could spend some more time with his partner. John found that Kyle was happy as they walked in the woods. 
Before leaving, John promised he would visit Kyle as often as possible. John looked back at it for a moment and smiled. He watched Kyle wagging its tail, jumping up and down with joy. John felt guilty and heartbroken. He knew he had made the right decision. Smith was with it. He stroked Kyle. Then everyone laughed together. What a smart dog. This story shows us we has underestimated the trust and loyalty of dogs. Sometimes dogs are smart enough to save the whole family.